I think it, there's a, the authenticity to my work is that it's about me. You know, I'm bringing myself into the shoot. You know, and, and, and it's how I disarm people, it's how I talk to people, it's how I approach them. I think that's what makes me different than, than somebody else walking in the room. I'm a father of two. I'm married. I've been married for 18 years now, <laughs> I think. And um, I have two children. They're both adopted. They're both adopted from Russia. My son is 16. My daughter is 14. And we live in Brooklyn, New York. The first is I'm a professional photographer. Uh, I have mostly portraits. Uh, but I, I do do a lot of documentary and reportage work. So um, I'll be hired for those two things. I mean, I think like most people, I was handed a camera when I was quite young. Uh, an old Canon P, which was uh, you know, an old rangefinder Canon that my dad had. And it was just one of those things where you know, I liked it and I kind of got into it and then I hated it for a really long time and thought, well, I can never make a career out of this, so why am I going to do it? And so finally, you know, I just decided one day, uh, let me just try this. Let me see if I can make this happen. And my wife was my biggest supporter at the time. She said, do it. Um, and ultimately, you know, the way my life goes, my timing was completely brilliant. And I launched in January 1st, 09. <laughs> you know, the whole world was just <laughs> breaking down my door to find me. Things have slowly come back. And it's been because of, um, a lot of different reasons you know one is that I have you know friends who have supported me without them you know I don't have half the work I have today and a, a good part of it is other relationships I've built have stayed stayed there I've learned to internalize a lot of this stuff not in a bad way but in a good way and just find it in, in, in other ways so I get paid for my work and I get paid well for my work when I, you know when I'm working um, but I find my success now not not in that but in the fact that okay I, I did a good job but I've had many mentors in my career, and, and not all of them photographers. So um, <clears throat> my first was a, a person who's not really working anymore named Algis Norvillo, who when I met him had a really decent career and was the first person I ever met who I could ask a million questions of. I just photographed an artist named Mary Heilman in her studio, a job for the Bonfant, and I talk about that because it's very recent. I pushed her, you know, I, I had to do the portrait part of the shot, and I, and I shot her in her studio, did the mundane shots. And I had noticed walking around her house the two or three times I did it, Mary collects these little chairs. She has all these little childlike chairs in the house, really childlike stuff. And so it said something about her. At the end of it, I kind of was pretty much done. I said, I'll do one more thing, Mary. She goes, what? I said, would you sit in the little blue chair for me? I popped her down in the chair, popped off four images, said, we're done. Popped off one more of the chair alone, and both of them in the book. I, my, my inspiration here is I love shooting people in their spaces. I love doing environmental portraits. I like figuring out who you are. I like figuring out what the space you live in or work in says about you. That's what my inspiration is more than anything else.